Hello, today we're going to be talking about the Batman. Now, I've seen the Batman twice now, and before we say anything, it is a masterpiece. It is incredible. Don't get me wrong, there are flaws, but I've seen it twice now, and I've got to say, it is definitely up there with Batman films like The Dark Knight, etc. Now, before we get into this review, there are going to be spoilers, so if you haven't seen the movie, there's your fair warning. Also, apologies for this shitty mic quality. I'm poor, okay? Leave me alone. Anyway, so, one thing I really love about this movie is Bruce's inner monologue. So when the movie opens up, Bruce has a monologue about how the city has been for the past two years since he's been Batman. Because... This movie takes place in the second year of his career as Batman and he's and he states that crime is on the rise and you can't be everywhere at once. However, criminals do fear him. You know, your typical Batman stuff. Another thing I love is the relationship between Jim Gordon and Batman. Like they are such a good duo. And Robert Patterson just delivers as Batman when it comes to the detective stuff like we've got Jim Gordon cracking jokes and then we have Batman just solving puzzles and like it is amazing and another thing I like is Riddler now Riddler is he isn't as like goofy as typical Riddler would be he's he's more akin to like villains like Hush like serial killers dead serious but obviously it keeps that Riddler aspect by turning his murders into puzzles for the GCPD and for Batman to you know solve together another th great thing that I think Matt Reeves did perfectly was the cinematography oh my god this movie looks beautiful and it looks dirty in a good way like the lens always looks like it's got dust on it and like the city just looks gritty and it's amazing what Matt Reeves has managed to do with the look of this film and another thing that I like what he did was the costume design because they all don't look complete like all the costumes don't look complete because we're still in the early stages of everyone's career so for example Catwoman's mask is just a cut out balaclava where it was it would usually be like a helmet or like Batman's costume is more armor plated and more like tactical and suited it's more um like how do I put it like it's more viable like there's there's a it's more for gadgets and stuff and it's not really for looks like so you know he's got armor plates he's got straps he's got like smoke bombs etc but obviously as his career goes on he'll get more and more advanced bat suits etc stuff like that and like right, you got the riddler whose mask is literally just duct tape and that's it like but one thing i will say about the riddler is he is scary as fuck in the beginning of the film but then one thing i didn't like about the riddler was it's just like he has like this dead cringy, like a Twitch streamer persona, and it's just cringy. Like, one minute he'll be talking about how he's got a whole twisted game with this victim, and like, oh, if you don't do this, the victim's gonna die. And then next minute, he's thanking his Twitch followers, and it's just, it's just like, why did you have to do that? Another thing I really enjoyed was Gotham. Like, Gotham itself is very much a character. Like, it, it's definitely one of the best if not the best Gotham City we have had on film and it's difficult for me to say that because I'm a huge fan of Tim Burton's Gotham in like Batman 89 like the gothic look but after seeing this movie again in IMAX holy shit Gotham looks amazing in this film another thing I like is the soundtrack now in the in a monologue scene at the beginning uh, something away by Nirvana begins to play 
and it just adds a lot of atmosphere. And like even like the the film's original soundtrack, it just gives a lot of atmosphere, and it's great, and I love it. A scene that I also love is when uh, Penguin is at the shipping yard, and Batman. Uh, gets into his Batmobile for the first time and holy shit it sounds like a jet engine and especially when you're watching it in IMAX the whole theatre starts shaking and it's fucking crazy and like they go on like this crazy chase Batman is just I think Batman's toying with him to scare him a little bit and then you know they're chasing and chasing him and then Batman just smashes into him car goes flipping everywhere and then Batman just walks out all like menacing like you can just hear his metal footsteps just banging 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 and like he gets him out of the car and it's it's fucking amazing another one thing my favorite thing about this movie for me is how they handled Bruce Wayne Bruce Wayne in other Batman movies he's usually like the rich playboy billionaire like fake persona so then no one suspects that he's Batman but in this when he's Bruce Wayne he is pretty much Batman the way he moves, the way he's like always a recluse. He's got eye makeup on. And he's like he's you know, he's he's always at these places just looking around, never never being like never talking. He's always got a whisper. And Br the way they handle Bruce Wayne is incredible and Robert Patterson is by far my favourite Bruce Wayne. Absolutely smashed it. Couldn't have asked for better when it comes to a Bruce Wayne. Now on to things that I don't like. One thing I didn't like was the runtime, like the pace in the film, because the first time you watch it, don't get me wrong, like three hours, holy shit, more than enough, I love it. But then the second time, once you know what bits you like of the film, like you're waiting for the bits that you want to see, and so it begins to just drag on and drag on. Like I was, I remember the second time I seen it, I was just sat there waiting for the for the car chase or for the fight on top of the stadium. One thing also I do like is um, the fighting. The fighting is very well choreographed. It, it's nothing along the lines of the warehouse fight from Batman vs Superman, but what I will say is the way they did these fights were brutal and I love it. Robert Pattinson's Batman is brutal and you just don't want to fuck with him. Another thing I don't like is... I, I, I don't think... Another thing I don't like is the lack of action. now. There is enough action in the film, but I just wish there was a little bit more. I know it's a detective-focused story, but coming from films like The Dark Knight or The Dark Knight Rises, you know that that is very action-heavy. You just you want a little bit more action because you look at Robert Pattinson's Batman and you you see how brutal it is, and you just want more of it. But I, don't, I just don't think we got quite enough of it. One thing I really hate, and this is a very very hot take but I'm not a fan of the Joker tease at the end of the movie like why do we need Joker again we've just had Jared Leto's Joker and we've just had Walking Phoenix Joker like we we just we don't need another Joker not this early on anyway maybe like instead of making him the villain of the next movie which they're probably going to just have him like teased along the movie. Let's say they make a trilogy. Tease him in no Batman number two. So they can be the main villain. So like he's the final villain that it all comes down to. Because I think Matt Reeves, what he did well with the Riddler is like a Riddler is in Batman movies anyway, Riddler is quite an obscure character because he's only been used once and that was in Batman Forever. So Matt Reeves is good at using obscure characters and putting his twist on him like I'd like for him to do Scarecrow next, like, he could nail, like, fear toxin hallucinations and it would be incredible. Matt Reeves, if you ever see this, you're definitely never going to see this, but if you do, please, please make a movie on Scarecrow, you would nail it. Anyways, other things that I don't like, um, I feel like... Robert Pattinson's Batman, although is good and like brutal and is definitely up there, I feel like in terms of his voice, it was very much just Christian Bale's Batman whisper. Like, I feel I feel like if you compared his Batman voice to, you know, other Batman voices, it's pretty similar, and it's just like, yeah, whatever. But yeah, that's that's my review. Probably it was probably a really shit review, but oh well, I tried. 
wanted to do a different video. But all in all, I rate the movie 9.8 out of 10. Absolutely loved the movie. If I was to rank it out of all the Batman movies that I like, I'd say Dark Knight is still number one for me. And then I'd tie this movie with the Dark Knight. And then I'd say maybe number two is uh, Batman Begins and then number three probably Batman Forever. I don't know, I just really like Batman Forever. It's kind of goofy, quirky. I love it. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys later.